beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. Within this video I'll be sharing various ways to test if your beer is oxidised as well as how to avoid it for the next time. Home brewers should avoid oxidising their beer because this can significantly degrade the beer's flavour, aroma and appearance as well as its shelf life. So let's get started on this important topic. Let's start with a method that can be used even before a beer is showing any potential signs of oxidation. This is known as the hand rub test and not only tests for oxidation but hop quality too. For this test you will simply need a small sample amount of the beer for testing and hopefully at least two hands. You simply take a small amount of the beer onto your index finger, in my case the right finger, and then rub vigorously for some seconds. The idea being to warm the beer up which volatilizes the aromatic compounds making subtle off flavors more noticeable. Part of this is that your skin also slightly alters the surface chemistry enhancing certain types of scent including those that lead to oxidized or papery aromas. After the brief rubbing you should instantly smell the area of your hand that you applied this to. If you smell wet cardboard, paper, stale bread or anything metallic then the likely cause is oxidation. This is common in beers that have been exposed to oxygen post fermentation. If you smell sweet sherry or wine then this is a more advanced stage of oxidation that comes up faster in especially high alcohol or malt heavy beers. However if you smell old hops, cheesy or musty aromas then this is due to isovaleric acid meaning your hops are either too old or have been exposed to oxygen it actually renders them less than useful. Then finally if you smell solvent or fusel alcohols then you have had a very often hot fermentation which can be confused with oxidation aromas but the effect is much more sharp. Naturally this is simply a sensory check, it may not always detect early stage oxidation, your nose isn't always on the top of its game. But in my experience it is a very useful test to try early on or later on alongside other techniques. Some do this using the palms of their hands but I prefer the area of my hand between the index finger and thumb. I suggest you try both methods and see what works best for you. Let's now go into some other areas of testing. Usually the first clue of oxidation is colour. If your once nice looking beer has turned murky orange, or a dull brown, or even has a purple tint, then this could mean that it's oxidised. It is important to realise that some beers are naturally hazy, which can appear to be on the murky side. So the general consensus is that the visual test is not enough on its own. So don't start throwing out beer just because of this. The next test is the aroma test. Get your nose in there and give it a good sniff. Instead of fresh hops or malt you might get the not so nice aromas of wet cardboard, stale bread, sherry or wine like notes. If you do then sadly your beer is very likely oxidised, but our testing does not end there. There is also the taste test which can also finalise the testing. Oxidised beer often loses its hop punch and can taste flat, papery, sweet or metallic and sandy just feels, well, lifeless. If your beer fails both the aroma and taste test then sadly you have your answer and the only solution now is down the sink with your beer. Never mind you can always brew more and learning by doing certainly works. So let's now look at how this can all be avoided so that your beer does not meet the same fate again. Let's now look at the causes and cures. Oxidation is caused by oxygen penetrating your beer after fermentation. This can occur during splashy transfers, bottling or kegging without CO2 purging, or not sealing your keg or bottles correctly. Thankfully this is very easy to avoid by keeping everything sealed, purging bottles and kegs with CO2, and by transferring gently. Keep all of this in mind in your plan of action and your beer will stay fresh, hoppy and full of life for its full life. So now you know the tests and how to fix. I hope you have found this video both informative and useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section of this video. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing. For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!